Hey everyone, I'm Renee and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is something a little bit different. I've teamed up with some of my YouTube friends to answer your questions. This video is part of a collaboration, so stick around to the end of this video and I'll have links on screen or you can find links in the description box below. The question I've decided to answer today is one that I get asked more than anything across all of my YouTube videos, and that is, can you use Swiss Meringue Buttercream under fondant? And the answer is yes! I use Swiss Meringue Buttercream almost exclusively in my cake business, and I actually prefer using it under fondant as opposed to an American style buttercream because when it's chilled, it's nice and firm, a lot like ganache. This makes it really easy to press against when you're trying to smooth your fondant and you get a nice beautiful surface and you can get nice sharp corners. After you have iced your cake and smoothed the buttercream, you're going to want to store the cake in the refrigerator so it's well chilled when you're applying your fondant. While the cake is chilling in the refrigerator, you can roll out your fondant and when you're ready to cover, immediately pull out the cake. Then you'll have to work quickly, but you just apply your fondant like normal. With a nice solid surface, you can really press against it to smooth your fondant. And it helps you get sharper corners. After you've applied your fondant, I keep my cake back in the refrigerator. I know a lot of cake decorators will tell you that fondant in the refrigerator is a big no-no, but this is where I store my cakes between decorating and all the way up until delivery. Even with some hot humid days here in New England, I haven't had a problem. But of course, I can't comment on what your experience will be in your climate in your area. When I pull my cakes out of the refrigerator to decorate, especially on a hot humid day or when I go to deliver, some condensation will form and that's normal and to be expected. If you touch the surface, you may end up with fingerprints in your fondant, but if you're careful not to, as the cake comes to room temperature, the moisture just evaporates and you're left with your nice, beautiful surface. I hope you found this answer helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out the answers to some other questions. You can click on the question on screen now, or find links below in the description box. If you'd like us to answer one of your questions next time, leave a comment below or send us questions on social media with the hashtag AskTheBakers, and we might pick your question to answer next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos.